Hi folks, welcome to my channel. My name is Nisi. If this is your first time here, we are gonna get into some Femme Friday content. And in this vid, we are gonna check out some Mama Moo songs. So there are two songs I wanted to check out the MVs for, mostly because I listen to these songs way, I'm, I, the increase of the frequency that I'm listening to these songs are more. So I don't wanna keep waiting off to watch the MVs and oh my gosh. I kind of have a feeling that the hive, wherever this beehive or wasp hive is in my home, is it's in this corner. So this is now like the third time something has come out while I've been recording. I don't even know what I was just talking about. We are going to get into Mama Moo. Dinga and Aya, there are two songs I listen to pretty frequently and I have not watched the music video because I said I'm going to just like wait off until I can react to it. But just doesn't happen fast enough, i.e. I don't have enough time to react to everything that I want to watch. So, so let's jump into it, because I don't want to wait any longer. Dinga and Aya, starting with Dinga, like, like, like a fish. Gosh, this song is so good. Ooh, the vibe of it. Okay, wait, let me know. Let me not. I'm getting too excited. That my brain is just running crazy and not paying attention. Look how cute they are. Oh, and we get Wee in this week. Ah! Like a like a like a fish. Stop. I don't got subtitles on. Okay, let me back it back up so I know what we're talking about because that's one of the biggest discoveries for me. So, do I know what I'm singing half the time? Nope. Mm -hmm. How are you both on both sides? Both buying and selling. Mm -hmm. Oh, drink. Have a drink. I want to call my friends and have a drink. Like a like a like a fish. Ooh. Ooh, they really got beverages. I saw some absolute. So not used to seeing Wasa in pigtails. She looks so cute. Girl does any kind of ponies well. Mm. My friend is this fruit fly. I wish I could say that about the freaking fruit flies in my home that I can't. Escape. You're so cute. Like it, like it, like a fish. Ding, ding, ding. Why? Yeah, why are they so mad? Ooh, we're getting a lot of sexiness from my ladies. The music videos that I've seen of them from early on are ve also very sexy, but just like very subtle sexy. This is more recent, right? This is no more than in the two-ish year range. I haven't seen a lot of music videos of theirs, so I'm sure my, my view has been very limited. And therefore I'm so used to thinking of them more in like the dream girl style, even though I've seen things like Hip and Elela where they're sexier, but like this is, I'm getting full, like spread the legs, crawl the ground. Like, I mean, I like it because it turns me on. I'm just not used to it. I'm used to like more, more like, you know, this, this kind of style, not that kind of style. I like it. That's just me. I'm just, I'm just pointing out what I'm noticing. They can shake their butts at me all they want. 
<laughs> I love how bored they look playing patty cake in the back. Oh, it's my part. Okay, we'll just back up because I want to enjoy it more. <laughs> they're still always so adorable, even when they're sexy, it's like infused with so much cuteness. <laughs> you can tell they just have fun, like even when they have to be sexy around each other, they're having fun. They said, throw away that, it's time for shots. Yes! Yes! Pop it, lock it, pop it, lock it. Mm. Oh, I love that move. <laughs> Hitting things. Hitting things, trying to do the dance moves myself. This, that dance move I did in the beginning to they're doing it now again. It's so cute, little, subtle, powerful. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it that they all. <laughs> Except for her, she's like, eh. Hey. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Peeing like a dude? <laughs> playing Oh, playing like the game where red light, green light? Is that what we're doing? Just so used to guys peeing like that with their hand on the wall. <laughs> Ooh. Not that part, but the leg move with it. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I do love that singing part too, but. Mmm. Yes. I love how it's just like chill. It's about like chilling with your friends, but then let's we can get glammed up and go out too and have a night on the town. But in the end, it's about the girls. Ooh. Are we a I was gonna say are we a dominatrix, but no. What is this? You guys, what is this teasing me? What 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 what, what would come next? That would I that that <laughs> what is that that would come next that I can see Hwasa <laughs> like that? Explain. Let me know because I'm immediately going to want to find it. I love her. Mm -hmm. Can I think about anything else now except for her in that pleather with that pickaxe? No. Okay, I'm excited though. We are going to get into Aya. Another song, very different actually from Dinga in terms of vibes. It's not the same album because I know that like they were in the same year. I wanted to check out this music video. It looked very desert, Arabian, Moroccan, pretty, sandy, tan. That's all I think of when I think of Aya, and I want more to think about. Ooh, ooh. 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 Sorry, that's just like animalistic crawling from the dance crew here. Ooh, with the like ooh, wide leg movement. Ooh. <gasps> Yo, how gorgeous do they look? Wow. So beautiful, ladies. Mm. So large. Freaking Wien. Wien is gonna be my new girl crush. So fast. 
so fast it's happening. I feel like she was the last member for me to know most about. Like in order of if I were if I were going in order of intrigue, it would have been Wasa Moon it was. It would have been it was Wasa to Moon to Moonbuel to Solar. Wean is kind of the last one that I have learned about. And she is so quickly rising and how fierce and feisty and beautiful she is. Oh. Which is also why I'm excited for her drop, her solo drop. Okay, let's go. Oh my God, but look. Girl. Ugh. So let me just turn that caption off. Like if I could get rid of this bar, I would. Holy but jolly, do you look otherworldly next to this giant, taller than you harp. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to finish this video if I just keep getting enraptured by how amazing they look. It's hard not to focus on other talents. Mm. Ooh, if they're saying a rotten teeth need to be pulled out, something going bad. That vibe, I love you, but I hate you. One blot, we become strangers. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why do you all look so gorgeous in all of these different settings that are so different than I expected? You're in like some ancient cavern. Wow. I mean, I've never ever liked a unibrow before in my entire life. Why do I want you with this unibrow? Oh my God, the nails too. Oh my God, I love the one hand. I'm gonna need, I don't even paint my nails anymore. I don't do anything, but the next time I get my nails painted and it matches Un unneeded for a specific type of event, I am getting this one white hand, one black, black hand. <sighs> I don't know how I never thought about this. Mm. Dang, that bubble hits harder in this than it does in the studio, the radio version. Studio version, album version. Mmm. Yes. Giving me Frida Kahlo with that unibrow solar. No Moria. I need to know what it's saying. Are these teardrops or raindrops? And then these are teardrops. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Oh, yeah, time to exercise that demon. He doesn't sound good for us. Mm. Wow, every single set is gorgeous. Oh, that's so beautiful. I wonder again if it's rain or tears. You insulted me. It's freaking teardrop. Ooh. That flop hits. I'm so happy looking at this. This song is actually very intense. And I definitely did not get that with the lyrics. Like I got the feeling of an intense feeling, but I gotta be honest, I did not realize how sad this was. I was feeling very much the sensual, um, 
almost like enthralling, enrapturing feeling the song has, which is alluded to in terms of the lyrics and the story and that this person has really made you feel that way, but they're actually negative for you. And the, the, the end result is pain. That part I would not get without listening to the lyrics. And it's hitting me really, really hard and how beautiful the visualization of this is with the words. And the sound design. It really works well. Gosh, I thought this was something sweeter. In a way, it's it, in a way it has that like sense of power and positivity because they are taking charge of their feelings, their emotions, and putting them into action. The way that they say this isn't a sad ending, it's my fault for having met you. It's almost like instead of allowing that person to have that power and control over your feelings. Instead, you turn the tables and you take the responsibility. By taking the responsibility, you can then move forward on your own without that person. That person doesn't have any impact on you anymore because you've taken the power. It is your responsibility and you're owning that, taking accountability for that to allow yourself to move forward. Woof, my girls. Mm. Gosh, these sets, costume design, everything is so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Mm, feel powerful. Oh my gosh. I feel so powerful. <laughs> I like the pairing of these two. Obviously, I have no clue. They are, they were, they both say from YouTube, which again in my mind means anywhere from the beginning, like 365 days to another 365 days. It could be anywhere in between two to three years, essentially what it said. So I didn't know if they were on the same mini album. But it seems like they might be on the same mini album, or if not, then they clearly are like back to back albums. Because the pickaxe, what I was saying, waiting for like seeing that pickaxe again, that was at the end of Dinga shows up in Aya, which is really cool. And then from a like a th uh, the lyrical connectivity of these two songs, I do like this idea. Even if like maybe if I flipped it, would be better uh, in my in my own head for how I would listen to it. But you would get this sort of Aya taking responsibility for maybe things that necessarily weren't in your control, but saying I can take responsibility from now for how I feel, how I react and what I do moving forward, leave this person behind who I thought was going to be the one for me, who loved me, who I loved, who I thought we were going to have a good relationship with a happy ending for it to not end up that way. And then you get Dinga where it's like, all right, let's just, you know, my girlfriends call me up. They said it's time for us to go out. No more laying in bed and being mad about this person. It's time to rally and let's have some fun and enjoy life. Kind of like the pairing of these two songs as well so didn't plan it but it worked out well and now i'm going to be jamming to that with these visuals in my head and for both of these songs that's great because i get a lot of my sexy mama moo to play around in my own head that sounds awkward so thank you guys for checking in on this mama moo two song reaction with me what i imagine is i will be spending most of femme fridays for a while with these ladies with the lovely ladies of red velvet their friends and with my ultimate you know female k-pop k-idol icon iu i think it's just going to become pretty standard that those are the groups i'm going to stop down on on femme friday for a while and then any other ladies i'm interested in i'll probably check in on them on saturday or sunday so just a heads up there and there will be red velvet and iu drops today as well all right hope you have a lovely day bye